Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to play your first guitar chords. We're going to have a really great time learning. It's going to be a challenge, but you can do it. I'm going to show you exactly where to put your fingers, how to practice the shapes, how to get it to feel smooth. I'm going to show you how to play Neil Young's Heart of Gold, the intro in this video. <laughs> You can download my free beginner guitar guide, which is linked below. That's going to be a big help to you as you work through these lessons. So before we start, make sure your guitar is in tune. Check my tuning video if you want to learn how to tune your guitar. But if your guitar is in tune, then let's jump right into it. So the first chord we're going to learn is an E minor chord, and it sounds like this. Isn't that a cool sound? There are many, many popular songs that utilize an E minor chord. And basically we just have two notes being fretted with the left hand. And this fingering is quite important. Some people finger it like this, but if we finger it like this, we're going to have an easier time learning an E major chord later on. So we have the middle finger on the left hand placed on the second fret of the fifth string. So remember the strings are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, starting from the thinner string and ending on the thickest string. So the fifth string is that A string. It's the second thickest string. I know it's confusing, but we're going to go to the second fret with that middle finger. And the frets are these metal things going up the neck here. And you don't want to press right on the fret. You want to press right behind the fret. You don't want to be like in the middle necessarily, but you want to be kind of pretty close closely behind the fret. So, like I said, that middle finger is on the second fret of the fifth string. And there'll be a chord diagram on the screen, so hopefully that can help you make sense of the neck a little bit as well. And then the ring finger here is going to come down on the string below it and play the second fret of the fourth string. So those are the only two notes that are fretted down with this E minor chord. Now with the left hand, you want the wrist to be roughly straight. So it should be, it shouldn't be like this, and it shouldn't be like that. It should be nice and straight, and nice and relaxed. And you want to push down with just enough pressure to fret those notes. And you can use the right hand pick to play those notes to see if the notes are coming through nice and clearly. And if they are, let's strum. Now if we strum down by the bridge here, this is the bridge of the guitar, and if we strum really close to it, we get a bright sound. It kind of sounds like, like surf music or something. And then if we strum closer to the neck here, we get a warmer sound. So we have bright, and then warm. So you can get a lot of tone, tonal difference depending on where you strum. That's the first chord shape. And a good way to practice a chord shape is to take, it, take your hand off the guitar and then put it back and just kind of hammer the shape like that to try to drill into your muscle memory. This is the shape I want you to play, hands of mine. <laughs> Should sound like that. Now, of course, make sure you, your guitar is in tune. And when you're learning chords, it is going to require the left hand to learn some new coordinations and to be strong, but you don't want it to be tense. And it's a good idea to stretch your hands and shape them so that they're nice and loose and just really play that E minor over and over and over again until you get it. It's perfectly normal for when you're first beginning to play that E minor chord and then to go back to it and have to take a while to get your fingers to be in the right place but just stick with it and persevere because you can do this and it's really worth taking the time to learn this. When you practice the way I feel is the most effective way to practice and what the science supports, the science by Mr. Anders Ericsson who is I, I think one of the the best sources to go to for information on how to practice is distraction-free 
with concentration. <laughs> of course, we can just noodle around, but it's not going to be as effective as if we sit there for a short amount of time, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just play these chords over and over and over again. It's like we're learning a golf swing or a tennis serve. We're learning this very specific coordination of the left hand, and that is the E minor chord. The second chord we're going to learn is a D major chord. Sounds like that. So we have three fingers fretting this D major chord. We have the index finger fretting the second fret of the third string. We have the ring finger fretting the third fret of the second string. And then we have the middle finger fretting the second fret of the first string. That's what the shape looks like. It's going to feel awkward at first, but you'll get more and more comfortable with it. And I'm going to show you how to go between E minor and D, playing the intro to Neil Young's Heart of Gold real soon, which is a great way to practice it. So that's the shape. And with the right hand, when we're strumming this chord, we're not going to strum all the strings. If we do strum all the strings, it's going to sound a bit like this. It just sounds like a bit of a cacophony, doesn't it? So we're going to try not to strum the low two strings. We're going to strum the top four strings of the guitar. That's our goal. You don't have to be super precise with it. Like if we hit the A string as well, it's not too bad. But ideally, we're just hitting those top four strings. Okay? So we have E minor and D. Here's what I'm going to show you how to play. The intro to Neil Young's Heart of Gold, the classic tune. With the right hand, we're just going to strum down, 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 down. So it's just all downstrokes. And you want those downstrokes to come from the wrist, not from the arm. If you use the arm, you'll see how heavy and clunky that is, but if you use the wrist, then it's nice and loose. So we're going to go down, 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 on that E minor chord. And the reason this is a great way to practice going between the E minor and the D chord is we just have these two chords and we're trying to get them to the point where we can move between them and keep the rhythm of the song going. It's really going to take a while to get comfortable with them like that. And remember, I've been playing for over 20 years now, so it's become a big part of my muscle memory, fretting chords such as this. And it's going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of repetitive, deliberate, <laughs> focused practice. But it's, it's fun. It's a fun thing. Just bear, bear with it. I know it's difficult. So, like I said, we're strumming down, 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 down. And then we switch to the D. Back to the E minor. And here's the cool thing about this song. If you want to do this, you can. It sounds pretty good. The reason I chose this song is because it is a good way to go between those two chords, but the right hand rhythm is very driving, very simple, and we can basically play with no fingers fretted on the left hand when we're moving between the E minor and the D chord, and it kind of works. I'll play that nice and slowly. Three, four. So, like I said, a great way to practice that E minor shape is just to hammer it onto the strings like that. Same with that D chord. 
I see some people suggest just taking the shape and holding your hand like that. You can practice this when you don't have an instrument in front of you. You can just kind of practice the shapes, maybe on your arm like that. <laughs> Although it's easier said than done. <laughs> I find it easier on a fretboard personally. <laughs> but those are the first two chords. As a little bonus for this lesson, I'll show you this riff, which is part of that intro. Okay, so that is a hammer-on. So we're hammering on from that open A string, which is the fifth string on the guitar, and I'm picking down with the pick, and then I hammer on, it's like a hammer, the middle finger of the left hand, the middle finger, onto the second fret of the fifth string. And then open D, and then the second fret of the fourth string with the ring finger. So those are those same two fingers that we use to play the E minor chord, but we do a little hammer on move there. So we hammer on the first time, and then we just pick down, down with the right hand. So the intro for Heart of Gold should sound like this. So there we have it. Now you know how to play the intro to Heart of Gold, and it's going to take a lot of practice to get it to feel comfortable and get it to feel smooth. But the first song you learn on the guitar is always the hardest. The second song is easier. The third song is easier than that. It gets easier and easier the more chords we've learned and the more time we've spent playing our guitar if we're practicing intentionally and deliberately. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to play a couple of chords, C and a G chord, that is. Please don't forget to download my free beginner guitar guide that's linked below. See you in the next video.